Hi guys, JT here, and today I'm bringing you some information on the Humble Bundle Bundle Capcom Summer Bundle of August 2024. To help you answer the question, should you buy it? By using the link provided in the description below, not only will you gain access to this bundle, but you also have the opportunity to support this channel. Your support will mean the world to me, and I genuinely appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into this. At number one, we have Ghost Trick. Phantom Detective, a mind-bending puzzle game where you solve your own murder. This game drops you into the afterlife as Sissel, an amnesiac ghost with the unique ability to possess inanimate objects. You will find yourself immersed in a world where logic and absurdity collide. Ghost Trick's charm lies in its strange yet perfectly coherent mechanics, manipulating bicycles, flags, and even umbrellas to change the fate of doomed individuals. As you rewind time and alter the past, you unravel layers of a mystery that becomes more twisted with each revelation. The game's internal logic is airtight, ensuring that every action you take makes sense within its bizarre rules. This design prevents you from feeling lost as you interact with the environment. The puzzles are challenging but never frustrating thanks to the game's forgiving nature and Sissel's time-rewinding abilities. Visually, the game is a treat. The exaggerated animations and stylish character designs breathe life into every scene, making even the simplest actions feel significant. The decision to keep the game in a 4x3 aspect ratio might seem odd at first, but it is clear that this choice was deliberate, preserving the integrity of the original DS experience. Ghost Trick is a rare gem, a puzzle game that's as clever as it is entertaining. If you're looking for a thrilling supernatural adventure, this game is an absolute must-play. At number 2 we have The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles a captivating visual novel and puzzle game from Capcom that masterfully revives the beloved Ace Attorney series with fresh storytelling and engaging gameplay. Set in the 1880s, you step into the shoes of Ryunosuke Naruhodo, an ancestor of Phoenix Wright, as he navigates the intricate world of law and justice. As you embark on this epic journey, you unravel the mysteries across two newly localized games, The Great Ace Attorney Adventures and The Great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve. The narrative begins in Japan, where Ryunosuke is wrongfully accused of murder. With your best friend and aspiring lawyer, Kazuma Asogi, by your side, you must uncover the truth and protect Anglo-Japanese relations from political disaster. The game excels in its storytelling, blending humor, drama, and inspiration from Sherlock Holmes' tales. The courtroom battles are intense, challenging your wit as you cross-examine witnesses and spot contradictions. The jury system and Herlock Sholmes' logic sequences add variety, keeping you engaged throughout the 60 to 80 hours of gameplay. The visuals are a delightful upgrade, with animated characters and cinematic camera angles. The music, rich of period instruments, perfectly complements the Victorian setting. Though voice acting is limited, the professional quality enhances the experience. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles is a must-play for fans of the series and newcomers alike, offering a brilliantly crafted adventure that breathes new life into the franchise. And number 3 we have... Capcom Fighting Collection a nostalgic compilation of 10 fighting games from Capcom's golden era, primarily spotlighting the long-dormant Darkstalkers series. You'll dive into a collection that brings together some lesser-known gems from Capcom's past. While it is exciting to see Darkstalkers return, especially with titles like Vampire Savior 2, this collection also throws in quirky fighters like Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo and Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix. These games blend traditional fighting mechanics with puzzle and gem collecting elements, offering a light-hearted twist on the genre. But it is not all about fun and games. The package includes two rare titles, Red Earth and Cyberbot's Full Metal Madness, both known for their unique gameplay and experimental designs. Red Earth stands out with its RPG-inspired single-player mode, while Cyberbot's impresses with mech-based combat and tactical depth. While the compilation's appeal lies in its preservation of these classics, the overall package feels a bit sparse. The extras are limited, and the absence of crossplay and online multiplayer is a noticeable drawback especially given the niche nature of some titles. Ultimately, Capcom Fighting Collection is a love letter to fans of Capcom's more obscure fighting games. Though not essential for everyone, it is a solid pickup for longtime enthusiasts who have been waiting to revisit these characters. If you're a Dark Stalkers fan, this is a must-have for your collection. And number 4 we have... Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trilogy. A visual novel that brings anime-style courtroom drama to the PC. This HD remaster of the classic console games introduces players to the world of Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney navigating through quirky trials filled with humor, suspense, and unexpected twists. As a fresh law school graduate, you take on the role of Phoenix Wright, 
who is determined to defend his best friend, Mary Butts, from a murder charge. Each case presents a unique challenge as you listen to witness testimonies, cross-examine them, and present evidence to unravel the truth. The gameplay revolves around selecting the right responses and identifying contradictions to prove your client's innocence. The Ace Attorney trilogy stands out from other visual novels due to its engaging characters and captivating storylines. The trials range from ridiculous to genuinely suspenseful, keeping you invested in the outcome. Phoenix Wright, the main character, is one of the few in the genre who freely expresses himself, showcasing genuine care for his clients and making you empathize with him. The game combines courtroom drama with investigative elements as you don the role of a sleuth, searching for clues and uncovering evidence before the court date. The localization of the game is noteworthy, with clever wordplay and humorous dialogue that adds to the overall charm. The characters' names, for example, are often puns, reflecting the localization's attention to detail. While the game's pacing can sometimes feel slow, with some episodes acting as flashbacks or tutorial sequences, the overall experience is immersive and enjoyable. The smooth HD visuals and anime-inspired aesthetics enhance the overall storytelling, making it feel like you're playing through an actual TV series. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy excels at creating a fun and engaging visual novel experience. The mix of humor, drama, and intriguing mysteries keep you hooked as you strive to uncover the truth and deliver justice. Whether you're a fan of the original games or new to the series, this remastered trilogy is a must-play for those seeking an immersive courtroom adventure. And number 5 we have... Capcom Beat'em Up Bundle, a collection of seven classic arcade brawlers from Capcom's 80s and 90s catalog, designed to bring back the fun old-school side-scrolling beat-em-ups. You'll get to relive the nostalgia of arcade days, with titles like Final Fight, The King of the Bundle, known for its massive sprites, intense soundtrack, and iconic characters like Poison. Alongside it, you'll find Battle Circuit, a zany lesser-known gem featuring bizarre bounty hunters in a galaxy-spanning adventure. Other games in this bundle include Captain Commando, Knights of the Round, The King of Dragons, Warriors of Fate, and Armored Warriors, each bringing their own unique twist to the brawler formula. While the collection is fun, especially in short bursts or with friends, it is clear these games were designed for the quick thrills of the arcade. Without the pressure of spending your precious pocket money, they might lose their appeal over extended play. The inclusion of online multiplayer should have been a highlight, but unfortunately, the performance is subpar with lag issues that detract from the experience. The museum feature adds some value, offering a glimpse into the design and history of these games, but it is not as extensive as other Capcom collections. Despite its flaws, Capcom Beat'em Up Bundle offers solid value, especially for fans of the genre. If you're looking for a quick hit of retro action, this bundle within a bundle is worth checking out, even if just for a trip down memory lane. And number 6 we have Dead Rising 4 Frank's Big Package, a sandbox zombie-slaying adventure that does not take itself too seriously, offering you a playground of creative weapons and a dose of holiday-themed chaos. You step back into the shoes of Frank West, a former photojournalist who is now older, grumpier, and somehow even more eager to jump back into the zombie apocalypse. This time, you're in a Christmas-themed Willamette, Colorado, where you'll use everything from an electrified battle axe to a gnome-capped staff called the Gandalf to mow down hordes of the undead. The game's strength lies in its over-the-top, mindless fun. You can strap on hulking exosuits, craft bizarre weapons on the fly, and take goofy selfies with zombies. The melee controls are satisfying, though the removal of throwable weapons and poor aiming for ranged attacks is a letdown. However, the sheer number of zombies and the variety of ways to dispatch them keep things entertaining. Unfortunately, Dead Rising 4 sacrifices some of its identity by removing the series' signature difficulty. Without the threat of a ticking timer or challenging enemies, the game lacks tension. The absence of campaign co-op and the reduced role of the once iconic psychopaths also diminish the experience. Despite these flaws, Dead Rising 4 is a fun, if somewhat shallow, romp through a zombie-infested holiday wonderland. It may not challenge you, but it offers enough mindless mayhem to keep you entertained, especially if you're in the mood for some festive undead action. Frank's big package includes more costumes and weapons, giving you even more ways to destroy zombies with style. And number 7 we have Street Fighter V, the fifth installment in the popular Street Fighter fighting game series. As you engage in intense battles, the game reveals itself as a celebration of the core elements that define the excitement of fighting games. The mechanics are accessible, marking it as one of the most newcomer-friendly Street Fighter games since the days of Street Fighter II. Simplified special move commands and expanded combo timings make intricate button combinations more achievable for players of all skill levels. The introduction of V-Skills, unique special moves for each character, replaces the complex focus attack system, enhancing simplicity without sacrificing depth. 
However, Street Fighter V struggles to cater to beginners adequately. The tutorial is disappointingly brief, covering basic moves but offering little guidance on nuanced aspects crucial for newcomers. The absence of a traditional arcade mode and a limited single-player experience, coupled with the forthcoming cinematic story mode, leave solo players with sparse content. Despite these shortcomings, the game excels in delivering a rich online multiplayer experience for genre enthusiasts. However, with the advent of the newest Street Fighter VI, it is no longer as populated. The V-Trigger mechanic introduces strategic buffs and tools, varying for each character, contributing to the depth of the gameplay. The server issues at launch have improved, but matchmaking and connectivity concerns persist. For seasoned players, Street Fighter V stands out, streamlining complexity while retaining the essence of the series. Capcom's vision for a more extensive player base demands swift action to provide adequate guidance and enhance the overall experience for newcomers, which they have catered for in Street Fighter VI. And number 8 we have Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection This collection encapsulates the essence of a legendary franchise that has shaped the landscape of gaming for decades. If you weren't there to experience the phenomenon of Street Fighter 2 in arcades back in 1991, this collection provides a comprehensive journey through the evolution of the series, allowing you to witness its transformation from a groundbreaking arcade title to a globally recognized brand. With 12 games in total, drawn from 6 iconic titles spanning the 90s, this compilation offers a treasure trove of fighting game excellence. From the humble beginnings of the original Street Fighter to the refined mechanics of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, each installment showcases the evolution of gameplay mechanics, character roster expansions, and visual enhancements. The inclusion of online functionality for select titles breathes new life into classic matchups, allowing you to test your skills against players from around the world. While the absence of a training mode for all games is a missed opportunity, the implemented features provide a solid foundation for competitive play and casual brawls alike. Moreover, the museum feature offers a nostalgic trip down memory lane, providing insights into the development process, character profiles, and a comprehensive timeline of Street Fighter releases. While the presentation could be more elaborate, the wealth of content speaks volumes about the franchise's enduring legacy. Overall, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection is a must-have for fans and newcomers alike, offering a comprehensive retrospective of one of the greatest fighting game franchises of all time. With its seamless arcade ports, online capabilities, and extensive bonus content, this collection stands as a testament to Street Fighter's lasting impact on gaming culture. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a newcomer to the world of fighting games, this collection promises hours of enjoyment and nostalgia for generations to come. And number 9 we have Dead Rising 3 Apocalypse Edition A zombie apocalypse game with a mix of dark tones and absurd humor. This edition comes with all DLCs included. As you dive into this chaotic world, you'll find yourself surrounded by hundreds of zombies on screen, using bizarre weapon combinations like a shotgun duct taped to a machete, while wearing a Hawaiian shirt and a ridiculous afro. The game's strength lies in these over-the-top moments, where you can craft silly but effective weapons from seemingly useless items, making every encounter a blast. However, the game struggles with awkward tonal shifts. You play as Nick, a protagonist who is all panic and no humor trapped in a serious story that clashes with the zany gameplay. One moment you're fighting a Molotov throwing biker gang, and the next you're dealing with dark unsettling scenes that feel out of place. This mismatch can make the experience disjointed, leaving you wishing the game embraces silliness fully. The PC port is decent but not exceptional. The frame rate is locked at 30 FPS, though you can unlock it with a workaround. The options menu is robust, allowing for a good range of tweaks, and the game runs well on lower end hardware. Dead Rising 3 offers solid zombie killing fun, especially if you ignore the story and focus on the mayhem. It's a game that's held up well since its console launch, but don't expect it to wow you, just enjoy the chaos. The Apocalypse Edition includes all four untold stories of Los Perdidos downloadable add-on packs. Each chapter highlights a different protagonist and introduces wild new weapons and vehicles that can be used throughout the main game. And number 10 we have Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, an action-driven RPG similar to Capcom's Devil May Cry and Monster Hunter series. Set in a world plagued by a destructive red dragon, the game draws inspiration from classic fables and myths. While the combat and open-world environments are impressive, the storytelling and character development fall short. If you can overlook its rough edges, Dragon's Dogma offers an over-the-top action and thrilling adventures. You assume the role of an ordinary fisher cursed by the dragon for challenging it. Your heart is ripped out, and your quest begins by tracking down the dragon and retrieve your stolen organ. Unfortunately, the lack of character development makes it difficult to connect with the protagonists, and the dragon's presence is minimal in the first half of the game. 
The storytelling fails to captivate, relying primarily on your sense of wanderlust. Exploring the game world is a highlight, with dangerous monsters lurking around every corner, including goblins, cyclopses, and chimeras. The dynamic nature of the game keeps you on your toes, as unexpected battles can arise at any moment. Engaging in combat rewards you with experience and gold, providing a sense of accomplishment. The game mechanics in Dragon's Dogma are distinct and rewarding. You can choose from three combat vocations, Fighter, Strider, and Mage, each of its own sets of skills. Melee combat utilizes light and heavy attacks, while the grappling mechanic allows you to climb and exploit weak points on massive monsters. One unique aspect of the game is the pawn system, where AI-controlled mercenaries accompany you. Pawns can be customized and hired from other players, mimicking their creator's combat styles. However, the system's inclinations, which dictate pawn behavior, can be confusing and detract from the overall experience. Despite its flaws, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen provides a challenging adventure for fans of fantasy action. And number 11 we have... Dead Rising 2 Off The Record A reimagined version of the original Dead Rising 2, giving you control over the fan-favorite character Frank West, while introducing the long-requested sandbox mode. If you've played Dead Rising 2, much of this game will feel familiar. The story and mission structure remain largely unchanged, with only minor tweaks like a new area, the Urena Zone theme park, and a different ending. Frank West brings back his iconic camera, allowing you to earn experience through photography, but this feature is entirely optional and does not add much depth. The biggest addition is Sandbox Mode, where you can freely explore Fortune City without the pressure of time-sensitive quests. It is a fun way to blow off steam, offering a variety of challenges like killing zombies within time limits or collecting specific items. However, while enjoyable, Sandbox Mode lacks the urgency and purpose that makes Story Mode compelling. It's a great diversion, but can become monotonous after extended play. Cooperative play returns, allowing you and a friend to team up in either story or sandbox mode, adding some extra enjoyment and chaos to the zombie slaying action. While the multiplayer works smoothly, the overall experience does not significantly elevate the game. Ultimately, Dead Rising 2 off the record delivers what fans demanded. More Frank West and a less restrictive world. It's a solid game, but if you've already played the original, this reimagining might feel unnecessary unless you're eager for an open world freedom of sandbox mode. And number 12 we have... Dead Rising 2 An intense, time-driven zombie survival game where you step into the shoes of Chuck Green, a desperate father trying to protect his infected daughter Katie in the chaotic Fortune City. At first, the game may overwhelm you with its strict time management and unforgiving difficulty. Each mission is on a timer, forcing you to make tough decisions about who to save and which tasks to prioritize. It is a steep learning curve, especially if you're new to the series. But once you adapt, the game reveals its unique charm. The story plunges you into a dark, twisted world, where survival isn't just about fighting zombies. It's about navigating human depravity. The psychopath boss fights are particularly challenging, requiring careful preparation and strategic thinking. These encounters add depth to the narrative, showing how the zombie outbreak has driven people to madness. While the time limits create tension and urgency, they also introduce some downtime between missions. During these lulls, you'll grind for experience points, search for Zombrex, and explore Fortune City's vast open world. However, this downtime can feel repetitive, and a fast-forward option would have been welcome. Combat is a gory delight, with countless weapons and hilarious costumes to keep things entertaining. The combo system encourages creativity, letting you craft deadly tools of destruction that turn zombie slaying into a brutal art form. Dead Rising 2 offers a challenging yet rewarding experience. It might take some time to get into the rhythm, but once you do, it is hard to leave. And that's all for this bundle. This bundle is a fantastic deal that promises hours of immersive gameplay. While visual novel mysteries might not be my go-to genre, they could be exactly what you are looking for. Personally, I'm more drawn to the action-packed Capcom fighting games, like Street Fighter and the chaotic thrill of the Dead Rising series. While Phoenix Wright might be the bundle's headliner, I believe the real star here is the Dead Rising franchise. If you enjoy diving into a sandbox-style zombie apocalypse, the Dead Rising series is a must-play. Do not miss out on this opportunity to experience it all. In any case, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if this video was helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.